Welcome traders to another Ticknell trading update with me, Patrick Munley. And we are going to start the week off looking at the US headline indices, uh, specifically the S&P 500, the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. So starting with the S&P 500 using the E-mini futures contract on the four hour time frame, we are in a corrective phase, correcting the decline we have uh, seen since the, uh, the 10th of April. I'm looking for a three wave corrective move versus the swing low we have in place at 49.91, which should target a test of the equality objective coming in at uh, 50.86. We also have descending projected trend channel resistance there. And so I'm going to be using that area as the bull bear zone. So I'm looking for any push into that area, watch for bearish reversal patterns there. And I'm going to engage on the short side, looking for a loss of the 49.91, back through the current cycle lows at 49.65, targeting an ideal 49.30 uh, to 49.50 on the downside. Now, uh, obviously, any close back through uh, 15.95 would be a, uh, a bullish development, suggesting the potential for current correction to be complete. And we would once again be looking at a retest into the 5120s, 5130s on the top side, or alternatively, any immediate loss of the 4990 uh, would be a short trigger looking for that move back through price cycle lows and onto the 4930, 4950 area. Moving to the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ has been uh, displaying relative weakness compared to the other indices. Uh, certainly compared to uh, to the Dow Jones, which, uh, which we'll be covering in a minute. But what I'm looking for here with the NASDAQ is a uh, corrective sequence again to, uh, to complete before we, uh, we once again challenge current cycle lows en route to, to printing new cycle lows. The bull bear zone for me this week is going to be the 17,495 to 17,545 area. However, I'm initially looking for resistance to come in at around 17,400. Watch for bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side, looking for new cycle lows and a test into the high volume area here, just below 17,000. So that would give us uh, 16,959. Uh, to get constructive on the NASDAQ, we'd really need to close outside of this trend channel resistance. So back through 17,600. Uh, to suggest a move up to test weekly projected range resistance at 17,817. We have this high volume area there as well, coming in 17,885. Wrapping things up with the Dow Jones, as I say, been displaying a bit of relative strength here. But what we're actually looking for now, similar uh, setup really to the, the other indices, we are looking for a corrective phase to develop after uh, after this initial um, move to the upside uh, should complete into our bull bear zone, which this week is going to be 38,459 to 38,590. So what I'm looking for here are bearish reversal patterns in this area, a rejection and a three wave corrective move to take us back into test support towards the 37,845. Now, if we can get uh, if we can get a close back through the 38,630, then I would uh, I would suggest that maybe we have a shallower correction, something back in to test this high volume area at 38,150 next leg to the upside. At this stage, it would take a loss of the support at 37,845 to suggest that we are going to challenge and uh, and break lows, which uh, which we put in last week at 37,469. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.